that up. Yeah. Clear your blockers first, buddy. Yeah. Sorry, bud. <coughs> yeah. Declare your blockers, then hit your. Don't do that. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, aka that villain Jay. And tonight, we have a very special treat for you. Ah. Uh, the sweet, simple joys of the darkness. Is there anything so effluent? Is there such a word as effluent? Or am I mispronouncing a different word? I don't know. And I don't care to look it up. But I just made up a word. And that is the sweet, simple joys of darkness. Well, what does that mean? What does all this mean? Midweek magic artisan build. That's what we're doing. If you know me, you know that I love um, Mono Black, and you know that I love Artisan, okay? Uh, what is Artisan? Everyone always says, Jay, you say Artisan, Artisan, Artisan. Artisan is common and uncommon cards only. No Mythic Rares and no Rares. So you're not really going to have any of these high power cards. What does that mean? You've got to be able to build. You've got to be able to build well. And that's what we're going to do with this Mono Black Aggro. It's a great beginner deck. It's simple and it's effective. Uh, and it's cheap too. It's easy on the wild cards and it gets the job done. But before we get into this, um, I need you to do something for me. Do you know what that is? Uh, tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button or else, well guys, the like and subscribe will come and get you. Oh yeah, he'll give you a bruising. He will. Oh yeah, he'll give you a beating you, you won't recover from soon. Um, this bruiser right here. Leave a comment too. I'd love to hear from you what you think of this one. Join us on a stream every night at twitch.tv slash J for all the live streaming goodness. We would love to have you at Twitch. Everyone goes, Jay, you stream? I say, yes, I do stream. Every night, 11 p.m. Eastern time on twitch.tv slash J. Um, check out our Discord community for all the latest news and information. Check that out in the Discord down there. If you want to share a deck with me, that's the place to do it. This deck and all the other ones that I build are down below on my Aether Hub too. You want to click out the Aether Hub link right there. Um, and of course, if you want to help support the channel, you can join directly by hitting that join button. Um, become a member, channel member today, and get a bunch of perks. Or you can, of course, buy a lovely J Villain hat. Either way, if you do either one of those, hit me up on the Discord and you will get a code for six free new Capenna packs. I would love to give those out to you. So. Help support me, support yourself, and get some free packs. There you go. Uh, so what are we talking about when we talk about mono black um, simple artisan builds here? Look how cheap this is, guys. So fast and so cheap. Dusk Wielder. I love this. Honorary Vampire Elf Berserker. Uh, one black drop, one two, common card, boast any color, uh, target opponent loses one life, and you gain one life. Um, fantastic. Early in the game... You're gaining and draining immediately. You're immediately causing big life differentials and swinging in. Especially with that two toughness, uh, on turn two, there's not a lot of blockers who can kill him right away. Uh, and I'm going to show you some other tricks with him too. Ecstatic Awakener. Now we're talking about demons. Uh, if we're talking about demons, we're talking about sacrifice. A few cards in this deck are going to require death to function, as good car, as good black cards are. So we do have a sacrifice outlet for us here. With this, is sacrifice another creature, draw a card, then transform a Static Awakener. Activate only once each turn. So you can't activate him multiple times, and he becomes a Awoken Demon. Look at that big guy right there. He's really going through some changes. Eye Twitch. Uh, great Sacrifice Fawner, and he's a 1-1 one, one flying, and then he lets you learn, which means he gets you into the sideboard. This is why the, the deck builder thinks that um, uh, I'm running green. is because I have Pest Summons. But two Environmental Sciences in case you need that extra mana. Necrotic Fumes for a little bit of Exile action right there. Um, pest Summoning and Entry to Annihilation. Uh, just simple, um, whatever you want to do here. I think that probably Pest Summoning and ne Necrotic Fumes are your best combo right there. More Sacrifice Fodder and Mana Fixing. Really nothing else is really that important for accessing your sideboard. Now, Feign Death is a useful one, especially with the amount of death and um, removal we might get hit from, but the amount of Sacrifice. So the one black until the end of turn target creature 
um, gains when this creature dies, return it to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control with a 1-1 counter on it. It actually comes back stronger as an instant with a 1-1 counter. It comes in tap, though. Uh, there's something similar to this with this, the Malakir Rebirth, um, which is actually a mana on the other side. Remember, I always consider these a ma mana first. I always consider them a one-drop tap mana first. Then, of course, we choose a creature as an instant. We lose two life, uh, and then it returns to the battlefield tap. So we kind of have the option. Feign Death is... Um, uh, it comes with a 1-1 counter, but it doesn't cost us any life. But Malachir Rebirth costs us life. However, it has the option of coming in as an alternate mana as well. So it kind of gives us that flexibility between mana and playable card. So that way you don't have to play all fe feign deaths or all manas. You can kind of split the difference. Okiba Raid Reckoner here. I love this card. I play this card in so many of my decks. And again, just a common. Guys, this is all cheap stuff here. Uh, I think so far we have only hit um, Eye Twitch is an uncommon and Malakir Rebirth is an uncommon. Everything else so far has been commons. Um, each opponent loses one life and gains one life for each turn. Okay, so that's each one of these you have out. You can run three of them. And then, of course, it becomes a 2 2 menace, which in its own right is pretty good. Vehicles of control have menace. Not really much use here, but a 2 2 menace rat rogue is awesome. He also has a sweet neon black coat on. I wish I had a coat that cool. Um, so that is a very, very useful card as well. And also, you can pull off the trick of if he dies and comes back to life, he comes back as the uh, enchantment, I believe. He comes back as the okay, but Raid Reckoner enchantment. He returns to the board as his original form if you feign death on him and he dies. So very, very cool tricks you can pull off there as well. Now, Reaper's Talisman is a fantastic card that doesn't see a lot of play. I don't see a lot of people playing it but me. Um, another artifact here. Uh, whenever an equipped creature attacks, it gains Death Touch in the end of turn. Nobody likes blocking Death Touch creature going in. Whenever equipped creature attacks alone, defending player loses two life and you gain two life. Um, what does that mean? If they're swinging in alone, kind of like a samurai, like a death samurai, uh, you they lose two and you gain two. So what do I want? I want Reaper's Talisman on Dusk Wheeler. That means that if this thing is swinging in. Dusk Wielder is a 1-2 death touch, and if it swings in, you pay 1, the opponent loses 3 life and gains 3 life, and if they and you gain 3 life. And if they block you, they're going to they're going to lose whatever creature they blocked you with, okay? And then even if if they blocked you, hit something like Feign Death on or Malachi Rebirth, and then of course you just come back to life even stronger. It is very demoralizing for the other side to lose life on the attack, block the incoming, lose the defender, and they get, and nothing happened. Basically, you spent one black mana for the guy to come back stronger. That is not a good look. That is saying to them, man, uh, the power of the darkness is too strong for me, man. I better get out of here. So Reaper's Talisman, very useful. Shambling Gas. May I remind you guys, hold on a second here. We're almost done with this list, and we're not out of the one drops yet, man. We are moving as fast as red here, man. This is black aggro beyond belief. I'm not kidding when I call this simple, man. This is a very, very easy to play deck. Very, very basic. It's easy to play, easy to build. No complex uh, casting costs. No really, um, no really complex instructions. Uh, aside from warlock class, which has a giant wall of text on you, um, but uh, it's very simple, low cast and low. Uh, low casting cost and low wild cost too. So Shambling Ghast is going to be a 1-1 zombie. Uh, whenever it dies, 1-1 one, one creature, 1-1 uh, one, one counter on 1-1 uh, one, to the end of turn and target creature, which can kill a 1 toughness creature, or you get a treasure token for a little bit of ramping action there. Um, then, of course, we have Warlock Classes, which is going to be essential. I have killed so many people with Warlock Class. People are sleeping on it, guys. At the beginning of your upkeep, if a creature died this turn, each opponent loses life. We are going to try to make a creature die every turn. Um, uh, whenever, uh, uh, we, we, we're going to try to at least have one of our creatures die. Either they kill them or we kill them ourselves. We're going to try to make them lose that life every turn. We're going to gain and drain them out. Whenever this creature, we pay two for level two. Whenever this creature becomes level two, look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them in your hand, the rest in your graveyard. So we're going to try to look for the cards we need off the top. And then, of course, the six banger right there. Uh, six and f 
six and one black for the seven cost on level three. The beginning of your end step, each opponent loses life equal to the life they lost this turn. Fantastic. So remember that uh, Swingy and Dusk Wielder, they lost three life and we gained three life. Well, guess what? At the end of the turn, um, if somebody died as well, they're going to lose one more life and then seven more life. Uh, and then four more life for all the total life they lost this turn. It doubles it. It's very, very, very deadly. It can kill them instantly if they've lost a ton of life this turn. Warlock is deadly. Now, just now at the very end of the deck, are we getting to the two drops? Deadly Dispute as an additional cost to the spell. Sacrifice an artifact or a creature. Again, sacrifice outlets for us right here. Now remember, that's also an artifact. We could sacrifice a treasure. We could even, in an emergency, we could even sacrifice Reaper's Talisman if we want to crack it open for some cards or some treasure it doesn't matter uh three deadly disputes perfectly fine um and now we're going to show why we want things to die for our big boys on the back end i say big boys but only one's a two drop and one's a three drop grim wanderer this is a fantastic uncommon that's very powerful and he's very cool uh, one black and one five three goblin warlock. He has flash, which means you can play him as an instant. He has tragic backstory. Cast the spell only if a creature died this turn. Doesn't matter what turn, as long as something died, you can play him anytime in the game. Anytime you could play an instant, as long as something died that turn. That's why you want things to die, so you can get Grim Wanderer on the board and do a lot of that five damage right there. Um, because he's very, very, very deadly. He's big and bulky and powerful and cheap. Infernal Grasp, a little bit of removal. Uh, you can run any kind of removal you want there if you want a different kind of removal. Blood Chief's Thirst or uh, Poison the Cup. Whatever kind of removal that's going to fit in an artisan deck there. And then one of the most underrated common cards, in my opinion, uh, Desperate Farmer and Depraved Harvester. Uh, this guy is awesome. One black and two. Um... Lifelink 2-2. He starts as a lifelink human peasant, and then he becomes a human knight. Whenever another creature you control dies, transform Desperate Farmer. That's all it takes to transform him is one of our creatures dying. Well, guess what? We have tons of sacrifice outlets. We have... Uh, we have Deadly Dispute, and we have Ecstatic Awakener, and we have creatures that we just want to throw in and uh, that have Death Touch that we just want to throw in at the defenders. He is going to transform very quickly into a 4-3 lifelinking knight that is going to be a fantastic blocker, a fantastic attacker, really, really, really dangerous guy here. And he also has an awesome looking undead horse there, um, which is also really cool card art that he's being surrounded by crows. Um and on his undead horse which is you know style is a lot part of it so um that's what we're doing 19 swamps and remember guys the 19 swamps seem small this is a very cheap deck and we have two swamps in the malakir mire simple black suit what are we talking about here uh 1.4 average probably the lowest cmc that we have here artisan deck um plain black card sleeves 23 creatures of all over the place a little bit of everything 10 instants two artifacts six enchantments 19 lands really more like 21 lands which is actually a lot of lands for this low of cmc it's actually probably too many but i want to be cautious i don't want to lead you astray here um and under land you right here so we're gonna get the simple black suit on we're gonna win the artisan thing to today we're gonna get all the rewards but this is fine for anybody just starting out and wants to dip their hand and see how black works see how creature sacrifice um and life loss and gain and drain works the essentials of black work and an aggro deck works this is fantastic here so all in ones, a little bit in twos, and one in three. Very, very cool. Here's your sideboard right there. Horizontal gang, boom, there you go. Let's get into the event right here and get it going. Here we go, boys. Well, I mean, for a while we were getting 30 and 40 in, but it kind of ebbs and flows, I guess. Um, I do really have to start doing it earlier in the day. Um, that really does help too, but unfortunately with my job and everything else that I'm doing, it's just very hard. Um, it's very hard, so. Summary is coming, yeah. Oh, you did artisanal black aggro? Very good, sir. A man of culture.
I'm surprised to nukes. I'm surprised you did not do, um, uh, um, you didn't do a uh, Goblin Red. That's what I would have assumed you did. Goblin Red's very good in Argusin. Oh, you already have two free to play uh, mono red decks built? Okay. Very nice. Mm, Charm Stray. Ooh. Mm, we're going to have to kill that Angel of Vitality. Goblin D's nuts. Oh, got him with the Goblin D's. You got him with the Goblin D's. Alright, so we're going to have to kill the Angel. Hit him with that, buff, 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 there we go. Celestial Unicorn, okay, boof, all right. We're gonna hit the boof. All right, he's gonna swing in. No, he doesn't wanna swing in, okay. It's a good choice, don't swing in. send you in my guy double block okay all right fantastic all right he's gonna go in what are you gonna do man zero three with azorius max that's not bad you can pull off an azorius max in in free to play, that's pretty good. <laughs> Zero three and Azorius Mex is pretty decent. Pretty decent, man. This guy's running out of options here, man. He's gonna have to swing it eventually, and that's gonna change the desperate farmer. Oh, oh, okay, there he goes. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. All right, got the eye twitch out of there. Oof, transform desperate farmer. Um, annihilation. We hit the Annihilus wave. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna want the Annihilus wave. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna wanna do that. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Hey, Yisuf Gruul. Luis Jonas, I'd like to see that uh, artisanal max, man. Artisanally made, handcrafted mechs. Um, that'd be interesting. And Cheffy is Cheffry is out of there. Yeah, man. Yeah. S simple black suit. That's what I call this one, man. Sometimes uh, it's the little things in life that uh, that do it for you. Yisuf Gruel, General Zukov himself, the most gilded man uh, in the villains. Let's claim our prize. Look at that. This is going to be a free-to-play deck, guys. Devilish Valet. Wow, very good one. Um, not bad. All right, let's go for the three wins on this one with Simple Black Suit. Uh, hey, no problem, Yisof. A Yisof do what a Yisof do, man. No worries. Um, <laughs> that is the 10K cheer badge. If you've given 10,000 cheers, um, you get the red hat. 
and you be, get to become. He also has the Black Lotus, 16 month subscriber, and the VIP. Um, yeah, he, he gets the sword and shield emoji. He's the only person who can wield the sword and shield emoji. Yusuf is. Oh, thank you, Louisianas. Molten Heat. Okay. Yes, it is. It is a lot. That's why he's General Zukov. Grand Marshal Zukov. gonna win this one by default which sucks one by default which sucks man I really want to play well we're going to keep playing the deck but man <clears throat> I don't know why people go hit the hit play and then go AFK maybe they desync I don't know um, How was my day? My day was pretty good. A little slow. But it was good. Oh, I hate winning, winning by default. That's lame. Very lame. I, I really can't get used to playing on mobile. I don't enjoy it. Let's see what we get here. Consuming Tide. Never going to use it. Okay. Um, oh, well, look, I got a pack. Look at that. There we go. Let's grab that. Oh, an Elspeth Resplendent. Very nice. Um, Creeper. Oh, man. Alright, so Dex. Do -do. Let's bring down the mana. Obviously, I'm a little high on mana here. It's been pretty successful so far, but I do want to clutch it. Um, so let's bring that down. Uh, maybe we bring back the Malakirs. Um, no, it's it's rare that it, somebody out out hits me with the black. Uh, it's very very rare that that happens. So let's add that. Uh, One point four with twenty two lands should twenty one lands should be enough. Um, oh, Malkir Coldblade isn't bad either. Well, let's give it a shot. Uh, mono black artisanal, delicious artisanal cheese. Um, only the finest artisanal black, custom tailored to your specifications. <laughs> Malakir Callblade, yeah. You just like it because it's a shirtless dude. Artisan means commons and uncommons only. 
Um, that is what artisan means. You've got to have your building high and tight, man. You cannot be a... Uh, Uh, okay, I thought you. I thought you were talking about the. Uh, oh, the Malakir. I thought you were talking about the Malakir Callblade. That one. Yeah, that's Malakir Rebirth. Uh oh. Rock liquor. Interesting. All right, so let's bring down Eye Twitch and Reaper Talisman. Okay, sell the samurai. So he's probably got a warrior. Um, <laughs> is he going to come in with it, though? Rock Licker. Such a good name, Rock Licker. <laughs> yeah, you know, I thought about that to nukes. I thought about that with the old, um, uh, um, what's that one, that spider monster thing that makes you discard? I thought about pulling that combo with the spider monster discardy thing that turns into that crazy monster, um, but, uh, I ended up not going that direction, so, it, it is a good combo, though. Exemplar. I'll take the damage. Boom. I'm not worried about the life. Okay, so we will put down Desperate Farmer. Um, let's throw one of them at him. Yeah, you could do it in Rakdos, easy. You could do Rakdos Saga Sacrifice and pull off some real ripping combos. Some real ripstick combos. <laughs> Ooh, a sorry captain. Nice. Very nice. So, um, let's put down that guy. Let's put down this guy. So we need black decks every Sunday. Why is that? Mirror Breaker, yeah. Mirror Breaker is becoming more and more popular. I'd like to see the effect of uh, the meta on Mirror Breaker. Black Sabbath. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, I should do one. That's a Black Sabbath. Oh. Peerless Samurai. Very nice. A sorry Captain's going to swing it in. He's not getting trampled, though, so he's getting life gain, which sucks. But I can whittle that down. That's not a big deal.
Enter the spirit realm. Who are you putting in there? Depraved Harvester? Yeah. There's that. to go again. Sorry. Pretty good. I kind of got mana blocked at three there. Need a little bit more than that. A sorry captain's coming in again. Um, not in, just kind of sitting here while he gains life. Nothing really that terrible is happening. I, I mean, it's impossible to get a wipe out, but... Wielder. <laughs> All right, let's swing in. Copying the Titan. Yeah, copying the Titan, copying the crazy Titan thing. I gotta revisit green again, man. Green, Green's been looking up, to be honest with you. I either got to look at a Selesnia, or I got to look at another green again. Um, even though we didn't get any wolves, I'd like to see what we can do by building around wolves. Um, adding some of the enhancements that wolves allowed us. Um, you know, so we'll see about that, too. Because wolves are just so aggro and deadly, man. Um, I'm just interested to see what we can play with. Laundry intervention, very nice. Alright, we'll do that. Hold that. Interesting. He's going to swing in with that guy. Now he's going to swing in with everybody. Okay. No enhancements. Just going to go with the 8 hit. Excellent. Warlock. You got a disenchant somewhere, man? What are you, doing? What are you looking at here? What kind of instant we got talking about? What, what kind of instant we talking about here? Let's draw some cards. Alright. 
what do we got? We got Reaper's Talisman, Desperate Farmer, or Warlock class. Let's grab a Desperate for next time. <coughs> let's put down a Dusk Wielder. Um, let's put down a Shambler. There we go. Pirate. We do that. What has he got foretold over there, man? What card does he have for I can't think of an uncommon card that's foretell. What common what uncommon card is foretold, guys? Uh weird. No blocks, I'll take it. Alright. Alright, it's another foretold card. Oh, it's a feign death there. Kaya's Onslaught. Ugh, that could be dangerous. Okay. He might be clutching that for a play. Yeah, he could be clutching that for a hard play. dangerous there. Ancestral Katana, interesting. Ripley, how you doing? Believe it. And it's a demon bolt. There you go. That's what it was, boys. It was a demon bolt. Okay, boys. It was a freaking demon bolt. Got another demon bolt. It's a bit shocking that he hasn't been able to close this off. That he has not been able to flush this turd. Um, um, what did Dwight say? Probably one of my favorite quotes from The Office. Um, he says, uh, you may be an exceptional toilet, but I am one remarkable turd. Uh, really, really, uh, really speaks to us in a, in a deep, 
visceral way on that one there. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna go in with Edge Ganjgo Exemplar. There you go. Very nice. surprised him with the Grim Wanderer. He's gonna have to sack the He's gonna have to sack the selfless samurai man. It's the only way. It's the only way, yeah. He's gonna have to use the selfless samurai. Use the selfless samurai man. To protect him. Yeah, it's a good one. Hey what's up Bishop? That is a black mana The fact that he has not been able to kill me yet is impressive. Um, is just out and out impressive right now. Just out and out impressive. It really makes no sense that this game has been going on this long. This man has used an absolute arsenal of cards to uh, uh, deal with me and, and it's, none of it's worked yet um, I'll keep a Raid Reckoner I think that'll be the kill though right there keep a Raid Reckoner I think that'll get me more than any other one he's gonna lose yeah there you go as much as he gained. He has no evasion, yeah. Ancestral Katana, very nice. Wait, wait, wait. He's gonna go in. Oh, do, 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 do. Yeah. He almost messed that up. I think he was gonna go in for nine. Which would have been funny. Very good, man. Took you long enough, dude. But very good. Very good, man. Very good. 
All right, let's work on that last game, boys. Last game, guys. Let's finish strong here. Uh, let's do it, boys. Oh, pretty good hand. Captain O. <laughs> Jungle Hollow. Let's put down our Dusk Wielder real quick there. Right. All right, let's do a talisman swing and grab. Oof, okay. He's gonna hit. He's hitting Golgari. All right. <laughs> Thank you for following Mythic Gaming TV. Welcome, my guy. How are you doing, my dude? Mythic freaking gaming TV. A whole TV channel dedicated to Mythic Gaming. Just the type of content that I enjoy. So let's put down that. Let's put down that. Let's swing that in. Let's grab that. All right. He's got death touch. Are you going to double block me? Come on, double block me. All right, he's going to single block me. Buff. going to lose. Uh, resolve. Uh, let's grab a couple more cards out of the top then. Um, Ecstatic Awakener, Desperate Farmer. Desperate Farmer, I think, is probably the best bet there. Pop, pop, okay. I mean, he's got some disenchants. Or he's wondering why that's hurting him. I think he's wondering why that's hurting him. I think he's wondering why that's hurting him so much. <laughs> Captain O. Maybe it stands for Captain Obvious. Cap attack rig. Oh, he's got ninjas. Okay. He's got ninjas, boys. Who's he going to grab? Who's he going to grab? Is he going to go for the enchantment or the artifact? He went for the enchantment. Very nice. Stignox coming in with the jokes. Coming in with the jokes, man. Um, so let's go ahead and do... Um, all right, and turn. Gonna show her my O face. O, O. Typhoid rats, okay. All right. I think you might be right about this one. Uh, I think you might be right about this one, uh, Bishop. I think we might have this one. Let's do this.
that. Next, put down a swamp, put down a warlock class, and then we do end turn. Lose life, lose life. Okay. Yeah. I I'm trying to save the rebirth. I know. I'm trying to save the rebirth. I'm worried. He's got a he's got a handful of cards, and I'm worried he's got spot removal. And if I can just run in with the talisman, uh, I can win. So that's what I'm trying to save the rebirth for. So I don't have any creatures on the board. I'm effed. So that's my thinking, Stig. If you're wondering why I didn't hit the rebirth on that guy, it's because if he's got a removal in any of these slots and he hits this, I can't slap the I can't slap the talisman and run in, and then sack my own dude to get the double the double removal on it. Um. That's what I'm thinking, Stig. In case you were wondering. He's got a lot of defenders, so it's going to have to go over the top or the bottom. Uh, I'm going to have to drain him out, aside from direct damage. Um, I'm not completely incompetent, just partially incompetent. Um... Jitsu, ooh, Mukatai Ambusher, what does this do? Oh, it's just lifelink. Pass, hit, hit. <coughs> Remove Death Touch, counter from anyone. Um, no, he doesn't have a Death Touch counter. Okay, so he does have... Alright, so I'm going to have to play double removal to get through... Um, and then kill. All right. All right, so we're going to have to put that on there. We're going to have to hit the uh, removal on that one. Draw a card. Okay, so I'm going to hold the rebirth. Um, hit, hit. He's got to use his morbid. He's got to use his morbid. He's got to use his morbid to block. He's going to use return to action. Uh, return it to the battlefield. Did he declare a blocker? I don't think he declared a blocker. Oh, he fucked that up. Fuck that up. Yeah. Declare your blockers first, buddy. Yeah. Sorry, bud. <laughs> yeah. Declare your blockers, then hit your shit, man. Don't do that. All right. Very nice. Uh, nice Golgari, but uh, not nice enough for the simple black suit. All right, so that's artisan. Uh, that's artisan uh, thing one. Now it was in. Uh, I know you're all thinking, yeah, it was, it was alchemy. I hate alchemy. Alchemy makes me god. Alchemy, alchemy keeps me up at night. It's so bad, and I, I work. I hate it. It's just the worst thing ever. Ooh, harmonize. Okay, claim prize. Um, guys, this was done completely without any alchemy cards. Period. No worries. Uh, no problems, sans any alchemy problems uh, whatsoever. This was just, just standard cards. It's a great starter deck. It's a great beginner deck. Uh, it's great something to just open up with a nice mono black just to, just to, just to have a nice warm cup of tea with. You know what I mean? Um, you know, just to open up and kill a bunch of people with. In the game, not in real life. Don't mon demonetize me, YouTube. So that's where we're going to leave it right there, boys. Until next time, I've been Jay Villain, and you've been great. Adios, everybody. Night-night. Word of the day is... Symbol Black.